great gears. Aloy, is that you? Were you flying a machine? Aloy, oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air, or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk used for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Aside from your arrival. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy. It's perfect for the orb. But a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you! Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> I don't think this is the place Moland was talking about. The burner should be deeper in the ruins. Okay, there's the giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruin should be nearby.
So many winged serpent statues, but none with a burner. Machines, no borrowers. The gizmo stomach's out there. from the old world. Looks like part of the city inside the dome.
village was taken from somewhere above ground level. Maybe there used to be a bridge around here? The sweat, and I'm still not cooling off. the Vista Point image. I must have moved too far. <laughs> I think I'm back in the range of the Vista Point. I could try to find where the image is taken. I think the image was taken from somewhere above ground level. There used to be a bridge around here? Okay, then.
image was taken from somewhere above ground level. There used to be a bridge around here. The image was taken from somewhere above ground level. Maybe there used to be a bridge around here? City from this overhang. Yeah, I should try to line up the image here.
This looks like the place. No borrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. Get to the upper level. There's a crate in that room. But how to get to it? Focus can show me anything. This could be useful. Everywhere. Okay, gotta get higher up to reach the statue.
Now to get the burner. Take it back to Moreland. that attacked Moreland. Trying to pull that.
much to be gained from. The wilds are different. You're not the only one. But you probably need You seen those Tanark riding machines? Next time I get it. You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? Care to take to the skies again? This time in proper Osram style. How can I say no to that? that? Nah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, let's give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently it's in the area. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. With simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little-known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs in forums around the claim. Ah-ha-ha-ha! Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> More than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback.
Shoo! Morland. He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Ah! No! Gotta follow his voice. I'm stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland! I'll get you out! Aloy! Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? was not something I was expecting. No sorry. You all right? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... That's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay. Let's go. Do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? All we need is something to bridge the gap. I think I found us a bridge. Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. <laughs> Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Can't reach that area, Aloy.
dead. Steel to my soul. Oh. Oh. Aloy, uh, over here? When you have a moment. <laughs> Sorry, I had to check something out. You were saying something before I left? Steel to my soul. Oh, oh I think that Stormbird... Oh, I can definitely find a use for this. Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? Found it. <laughs> ah, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Steal to my- Again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm Steel honored, to my soul. but I think I'll let Abaddon oh. and Stemmer have the next oh, fight. That storm. You jest, but keep your eyes open. I'll be flying alongside you yet. Ste and I'll see you back at the camp. There's so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too. Steel to my soul.
going down. Those curves of metal must be the arches Abbott mentioned. Della should be waiting for me there. Handiwork? That's my bet, but no sign of Boomer. Any idea why she'd be out this way? Probably just wanted to get as far away from me as possible. During the fight, I snapped at her. Said some things I shouldn't have. Things you didn't really mean. Yeah. You know, back in the claim, she'd get into all kinds of trouble. Dad always said it was my job to look out for her. We'll find her, Della. Let me look around for some tracks. Shut that machine down quick with shock ammo. If Boomer was here, I should be able to pick up her tracks with my focus. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. What were you thinking, Boomer? Do you have any siblings, Red? It's complicated. Uh, tell me about it. It's just... Sometimes she can really grate your gears. And sometimes... Most times... I have no idea what's tinkering in that head of hers. But she's all I've got. I just hope we can find her. We will. Tracks end here, but... Looks like Boomer set out some traps around the ruin. Leave it to Boomer to litter the area with explosives. But where is she? If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out. Can't use its tail to shoot at me if I break it first.
Nothing. Let's take a look in the ruins. Maybe we can figure out where she went. Small camp. Oh no. I know that hammer. This is Boomer's favorite hammer. She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming. Can you pick up any tracks? I can't make out any footprints. Maybe that second side of yours could help. What I give for a cold breeze. Luck finding Boomer's tracks. Can you pick up any tracks? Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go! There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we gonna get up there? <laughs> this way. Right. Feeling a big old clip. <laughs> hmm. This'll make a good die.
Later. What was this place? I don't know, but it looks abandoned. A shelter. Some kind of device. From Boomer?
Looks like some of the components were stripped. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. What do you think Boomer was working on? <sighs> Probably nothing. She just likes to tinker. Can't ever seem to keep her hands still. Trust me, I've tried. Hey, look there. At the base of the wreck. Tools. But she found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. She was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh! Oh! Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Boomer, what did you do? Never mind that now. Here they come! This is exactly why I always say not to run off! Nice one, Boomer! What were you thinking? Those machines could have killed you. Pressure valve. Check. Boomer. Boom. Check. Boomer! Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look. I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run. And I'm not angry. You're not? No. Why would I be angry? Be because of our fight. Be because you ran away. I didn't run. Well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom disks. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Ah, <sighs> here, let me see. Ah, that's why. The pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait. Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me?
You said you Where didn't are you want going, to talk Red? until the morning. Hey, she... Well, yeah, but I meant about... Oh, I, I, I didn't mean literally. What about the big machine? Yay! Red's back! To the big machine. How did you find your way to that old room? I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. It's just down there. There's nothing here. Just watch. Ta-da! Vanishing dread. William of Sure. Bursting sparks, flying metal, ba-boom! You okay? Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon... Keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes!
should hit it with frost ammo. Guess this is home for now. What do you think? Of course. Having a good day? Hey, Alva. Thank you for sticking around. I know it couldn't have been easy to stay when most of the Quan went home. I came to this land to find a way to save my family. I can't go back yet. Not with what's coming. I told Bohai about Nemesis. And I gave him a new focus. Oh. Are you sure we can trust him with it? I know he'll probably find a way to twist it to his advantage with the other overseers back home. But once Gaia is completely up and running again, we might be able to set up a network so that we can stay in contact. Maybe I'll even get to speak to my sister. And he said he would petition the Emperor to send us aid. Do you think the Emperor will listen? To be honest, I don't know, but I hope so. Oh, and if you have a moment, I have an update on the data about Leviathan. Since you're back in Landfall, were you able to find the data you were after on Leviathan? Not quite. I spoke to the other Diviner, but it wasn't easy to get him to talk. It seems the data is wrapped up in something dangerous. 
Something compromising on the Ancestor. Forbidden knowledge. Yes. But I managed to get the facility's location from him. It's not far. We'll find it together, then. I'm ready to head out now, if you are. Let's go find that data. Come. This way. Come on. Let's go. Hey! Go well, well, I dig it. Please, could you spare a moment? Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've no one else to turn to. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The Overseer denied my request for a search party. Now that he's taken most of the fleet back home, we need all hands on deck to ensure the safety of this camp. I can't just abandon my post. But you think your brother might still be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read. It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is... gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe. For him. Of course. you. We'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here. For good. The ancestor reborn. May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships went home with Overseer Bohai. We were entrusted with the one instrument that can guide the remainder of the expedition back across the ocean, and now it's broken. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Meandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I 
guess it's safe to tell you, since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The Diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland, and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. That's why we carry backups. Unfortunately, this one was damaged. With everything that was going on, no one noticed, and now it's too late. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. We were chosen to stay behind with Diviner Alva, to ensure the rest of the expedition can make it back home when needed. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Not unless you can fly. What if I told you I can use one of those sun wings to take me there? You could do that? Why not? She's an ancestor reborn. Anything is possible. The ship lies on an island east of here, past the fleet. All right, then that's where I'll go. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. This wind's blowing strong. I gotta stay upright. Get this straight. The diviner you talked to wanted nothing to do with Leviathan, even though it could help your homeland. Just because there's forbidden knowledge around it? The other diviners are like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. And with the overseers, they have every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the tr That should be the facility ahead. Oh, we need to find a way in. Up here. Well, there's a lot of crumbling ruins. Let's look around. It's not good, whatever it is. Whoa, that, that thing is huge! We'll have to take it out if we want to find that thing.
gonna have nightmares tonight. We should be able to look around for that data now. I might be able to kick that vent open. Less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. The data on Leviathan isn't here, but there's some kind of log. Delete the database? But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms. Over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor. Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. To their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. 
It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quinn seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviners spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though entrance is now blocked. I wonder how much Gonna of have it to is find another way true. in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. I think this is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. You doing okay, Olva? Yes. 
Don't worry about me. Heart Glen talk. Great. Did it see us? I don't think so, but we'll have to be careful. How are we going to get across? Oh, that beam looks promising. This is a lot higher up than I thought. Glenn talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. Soldiers say the Glintocks are the worst. Up this way. Okay, just don't look down. Right! <laughs> of course! Super easy. There's the tower. Should be able to cross over. But we are going hey, to have to jump. I'm okay! I've gotta clear some of that debris first. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Ah! Alva! Ah, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. Better make sure Alva makes it across before I take a look at this. You sure you're okay? Oh. No, I'm... Fine. 
This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. Oh, door's locked. Huh. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. So the company was founded in October. Which is the 10th month of the year. Got it. The door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy. We're Cost reduction. We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omaramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omuramba wasn't her idea. It doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Ugh, dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. See where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. Long way up. Thank <laughs> you. 
to get up higher. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. That's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire room, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. <laughs> Alright, I'll on the way. Let's see what's up here. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts... I... I think these were Eileen's. It's every Diviner's dream to discover even one of the Ancestor's artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. It's... art, I think. Would it be... Yes, I... I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. Oh, that must be the Larson McCory Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. Can my focus see anything? How old was Eileen when she won this award? Forty. This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. The uh, what? H2 flow. There are early inventions at strange names. Not quite right. Must be the Dragonfly 6. Ape used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yeah, it's worth a try. 
What was this thing again? The H2 flow. You said Eileen was how old when she won this? Forty. That's not it. What was this called again? The Dragonfly 6. You said this was commissioned for something? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. What was the name of this thing? The H2 Flow. How old did you say Eileen was when she won this? 40. My focus... That didn't work. Better take a look at those artifacts. Not quite right. How old was Eileen when she won this award? Forty. What was this called again? The H2 Flow. What was this for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. That didn't do anything. I thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? Could look around with my focus. You said Eileen was how old when she won this? Forty. What was this thing again? The H2 flow. What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. The two artifacts on the ground. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. That's not it. How old did you say Eileen was when she won this? Forty. What was the name of this thing? The H2 Flow. You said this was commissioned for something? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. Remind me, what was this called? The Dragonfly 6. What was this for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. How old was Eileen when she won this award? Forty. Mm, maybe try my focus. That didn't work. Uh, 
Let me take a look at those artifacts. Use my focus here. Could try my focus, see what it picks up. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Impressive view. But it must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe. The lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father. Took over the company so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omaramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Leviathan... Uh, yes. Uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. 
Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're in landfall. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it.